we're finally here. Today is all about lockdown. The day has finally come. Today, it's all about lockdown. 18 days ago, we started a new journey. We wanted to begin to incubate our own eggs and increase our flock. A year ago, we started with 25 just laying, uh, laying hens, wine dots, Orpingtons, um, Astrolorps. Now we wanna be more breed specific. So we bought some eggs from some other breeders and we are going to start uh, breeding and producing both chicks and hatching eggs for these breeds. Today, it's lockdown. Day 18, we're gonna take all of the eggs out, we're gonna candle them one last time, and we're gonna take out anything that doesn't seem viable that it won't hatch. Anything that has a blood ring, anything that the, the chick didn't develop, or there's no air sac, or if there's a hole and there's something sticky, anything that looks like that it could introduce bacteria into the incubator with the healthy eggs. Once we take the eggs out and candle them, we're gonna mark the air cell. So when we lay them in the incubator, we'll know exactly about where the chicks are gonna hatch out. When we have them out and have them candled, we're going to inspect the floor of the incubator. We're gonna look for any little sharp plastic pieces that may have come from the uh, production of the incubator. Or if it's too slippery, we're going to uh, put in uh, some shelf liner that will be a non-slip. Shelf liner will provide a non-slip surface for the kit chicks so they don't stumble around and knock the eggs around or perhaps any chicks that have already hatched. Once we get to that point, we're gonna to wanna to increase the humidity in the incubator to 65 to 70%. And we'll wanna keep that as steady as we possibly can, providing a nice warm, moist place for the chicks to hatch, providing that perfect environment for these last three days so we can watch the chicks come out of the shells and start a new journey as breeders. In order to help to uh, stabilize the humidity, we're gonna take some sponge and we're gonna cut it into pieces and we're gonna moisten it with warm water and we're gonna put it back in. Any places that we feel like maybe a little bit too wide and maybe a chick could fall into and drown, we're gonna, we're gonna place this in. We have uh, bantams and regular size breeds in these incubators. So we wanna make sure that the bantams are safe. So uh, we continue with our journey. We'll get the incubators all set up and uh, we'll go from there. You see the veins and you can see the chick in there and it's moving. There it goes. Yep. So we know this one's good in the life. Okay, so this one is bad. You can see the ring, the blood ring. The chick tried to develop, but it died. So we're gonna pull this one out. That's a blood ring. There's another one that's really active. And it's very much alive in there, ready to come out. <laughs> this is also, you can see the veins and you can see the chick moving. So we have them, the turner out. So as of now for the next three days, we won't turn them. We're gonna try to keep the humidity between 60 and 70 and the temperature around 98. Um, this egg, unfortunately, 
when uh, we took it out cracked so we're trying something we um, we put wax over the crack because the chick still looks alive in there so we want to try to preserve it so it doesn't get any bacteria in the shell and it can hopefully finish developing and hatch out so we started out with 55 in this one this one goes on lockdown tomorrow we were had 29 in there and then we've already taken maybe 15 out that didn't develop um, so we're doing pretty good we're, they all look good and we're hoping for a high hatch rate if you follow me on TikTok, I have big plans to go live um, when they hatch so check out my live video on TikTok.